I feel like it's been way too long since we've broken something, so we're gonna try really hard to do exactly that. And here's the perfect start, you get one more choice for each upgrade and object selection. So we'll get all the right upgrades moving forward so we can further kill these guys quickly. So let's reduce the cooldowns of dashes and abilities by 10%. How good is 10% you ask? Well that's 10% more efficient killing everything. Next we can get a bouncing projectile, that's a legendary upgrade. That basically doubles my damage output. The projectile might bounce, but that doesn't mean it bounces into someone. We're going to further reduce our cooldowns of dashes and abilities by 15 more percent. And we have our first special idiot, he's got hooks for hands. Very practical, let me tell you. I'm mostly just trying to stick to the rarest upgrades because they're going to be the strongest, like this one, gain a lot more damage. That sounds pretty strong. We're currently doing 50 damage, that went up to 70, so that was almost a 50% increase from a single item. And the man with hooks is really feeling that damage. He's left this earth but he left the chest behind. This is new, each of your projectiles moves between 30 and 70% faster. I'm not entirely sure what the benefit of that is, but I'll take it. I guess the faster it gets to the enemies, uh, the faster good things happen. Gain more damage from 70 to 85. So we're already doing enough damage to one shot most things, not the mummies, but we're gonna get there. Let's gain more attack speed, so we went from 1.8 per second to 2.25. Roughly a 20% increase, uh, and I'm gonna stop getting hit now. But we gotta get hit a little bit to keep it interesting. More attack speed it is, 2.7 per second, so now we're a little bit more machine gun-like. I really hate how a ricochet just bounces off and goes, like, nowhere. Shoots an orbiting projectile regularly. Cooldown is 4 seconds. We're going to knock 30% off of that because of our cooldown reduction we started stacking. So we're going to turn into a very dangerous tornado, and I just walked right into the path of a mummy again. Let's reduce our cooldown another 10%. That way our circling arrows are going to come out more and more. I clearly need a bit of help protecting myself. I've developed this fun habit tonight of walking directly into the path of danger instead of away from it. Gain more attack speed. 3.15 per second. We've almost doubled our attack speed from the beginning. The enemies are dropping so much. Raise the range of your area effect and pickup range by 30%. That's just gonna help me pick up more loot without having to walk too far. Plus it'll make my arrow thing circle bigger. Not really sure what the benefit of that is yet, but presumably there is one. More legendaries. Raise the range of your area effect and pickup range by 40%, so they're gonna be really big. We don't have a lot of those yet, but they'll be big and they'll have small cooldowns. And we're going to increase that by a further 30%. Not entirely sure where we're going with this yet, but we'll find out soon. We do get two layers of projectiles. That's interesting. And we have a guy who wants to circle and get close to us, so you can have all my arrows. Go ahead and stick those right inside you. We're going to take the rare ones of these. I don't know what the backpack is. Oh, it shows my inventory. Well, since we're offered a bottle with a hat on it, we're going to take that. Permanently raise your attack speed by 40%. Half of your shots are less precise. Precision really is never going to be my thing. Next AoE is going to get a further 30% bigger, so it's at 240% the size it's supposed to be. Now we just need some actual AoE to get in there and make it worth it. But my arrows out there are like halfway to the edge of the screen already, so that's going to get amusing. Let's take another 10% off of our cooldowns, that is diminishing returns, uh, because 10% off of 60 is only 6%. When we started, that would have been 10%. Uh, these less precise shots are a little bit annoying, but when everything gets close, hopefully we will be able to just hit them because they're so close. Okay, we're doing another 10% off that, so we're at about 50% cooldown. So whatever is supposed to happen is going to happen twice as fast. Uh, I've got like an armadillo chasing me uh, across to the tumbleweed. I don't really know what that is, but it's trying its hardest. Enemies are starting to pile up, so we need to start spawning some arrows. This guy's got a knife in both hands. He's really means business. Okay, this uh, build so far is not optimal. Eventually, it's going to synergize really nicely with something. We'll have something really cool. For a few minutes, though, it's going to be a meme. Well, we got another ledge. How could we not take this? Raise the range of your area effect. Uh, AoE basically 40% bigger. It's at 280%. We just need some actual AoE and then we'll be laughing. Permanently augments your damage by 20%, but your projectiles are slower. Well, we got the other thing that makes our projectiles quicker, so that's just going to add a lot of nice damage to us. I think we can already feel that a little bit. We're doing 100 damage per shot. Critical damage is 75% higher. We just need to start stacking critical chance to actually take advantage of that. There we go. Gain much more damage. A legendary upgrade from 102 to 140 damage. That was actually a straight up 40% damage increase, which is good because we have a sheriff incoming. I... okay... We're gonna go ahead and, uh, yeah, it's another armadillo man. He goes into armadillo mode and then fires projectiles and, whoops, he's coming back again. This would be a lot easier if I could actually, like, aim my projectiles. Wow, he's actually pretty tough. So we got him down to three quarters health. We gotta watch out because he's gonna go armadillo mode any second now. 
It said some of my projectiles are uh, like less accurate. It didn't like didn't specify all of them would just be hitting the moon instead of this thing. Like there's a giant purple moron standing in front of me and I can barely hit him with anything. Okay, this time we should be able to get some arrows into him. This might finish him off. We might just tank through him because I'm kind of sick of him already. Okay, yeah, come just a little closer. Got him. Okay, we're going to triple our shot. This is the legendary upgrade. We're going to lose 40% attack speed. We can actually stack that back on, but since we're so inaccurate, I kind of want the triple shot. And at some point, we definitely will actually add something of AoE, uh, aside from my whirling thing. More damage for us. From 138 to 156. Another good increase. The idiots are starting to drop red coins as well, so we're getting experience mucho fast. And we're going to need to keep leveling up because our damage is starting to lag behind where we need it to. Increase your chance of crits by 7%. That puts us up to 12%, and that's actually a considerable upgrade already, so over 1 in 10 is going to be a crit. And considering how many we're firing, every crit that lands is going to be a big help to us. We could also just use a touch more speed, that way we can stay further ahead. We don't shoot while we're moving. I re-rolled into a pistering, consistently spirals around you, inflicts damage to enemies it goes through, and shoots at your current attack speed, sure. Uh, that also might be affected by my AoE, so it might actually be a little bit too big, because I think it's like <laughs> leaving the map, which isn't probably helpful. But it uh, hits enemies and physically damages them, but it also shoots, and that uh, is equal to my current gun's damage. So that's just an extra thing for us to damage enemies with, it's just gonna kind of fly out there and do its thing. Your shots pierce through one more enemy. Yes. I think they're going to pierce once and then bounce uh, once they hit the second enemy. And that's going to be good because finally our arrows are going in a straight line. Well, this might be good. Drops the dynamite before each dash. It explodes and inflicts damage, obviously, in an area of effect around after two seconds. So <laughs> look how big it is. Okay, we might be onto something finally. We just needed some dynamite. So let's also make that 20% bigger. And our dashes are going to come back quickly uh, because we have 50% uh, cooldown on dashes now. So we could probably just nuke everything again and again. Okay, let's put some more attack speed back on. We're going from 2.65 to 3 per second. Wonder if I actually get enough dashes if I could just permanently dash around. Because if I had like 10 of them, they'd be recharging probably as fast as I could use them if my cooldown is even quicker. And uh, Doctor Strange is here to uh, shoot purple uh, red balls at us. We're just going to go ahead and shoot him slowly. He's got a lot of HP. The bombs are good for smaller idiots, not the bosses. But that doesn't mean we can have some overlap. The bombs are so big, they're just going to hit everything anyway, which is fun. Your projectiles bounce two more times, and they do so in the opposite direction. That should be a very good one. Raise the range of AoE by 20%. Yeah, why not at this point? Starting to get the blue coins dropping, so that's even more experience, and we're going to need it. Everything's in such a hurry to die, it just wants to run straight toward me. Also getting a lot of red orbs shot at me, which I'm not used to dealing with. Luckily they're quite easy to see so far. I'm going to assume that uh, my damage directly affects the bombs, so we're going to gain much more damage. We're going from 156 to 192. We'll see how the bombs feel. 192. Yep, the bombs are my damage. Or the other way around. There's a mole that likes to hide underground and throw bombs at me. We can throw bombs right back at him though. The beauty of the bombs is you don't have to strategize or aim or think. You just drop a bomb and it pretty much kills everything on the screen. I'm glad we were able to create nuclear bombs today. We could probably make them even bigger. This one also pairs nicely. When one of your dash slots is ready, create a burst that does 100% damage in the area around you. When our dash comes back, is it saying it creates a... Yeah, okay, so it's actually creating a giant, like, pulse wave every time a dash returns. So we need to reduce the cooldowns of dashes and abilities by a further 10%. So now our dashes are going to come back. So when we dash, we drop a bomb. When a dash comes back, it also creates a bomb. So we're double bombing. And this will inevitably spiral out of control, which is going to be fun in itself. Crit chance is going up by 7%, so at about 20% crit chance or 1 in 5 attacks. I don't know if that affects bombs and my other thing, but uh, whatever the case, it's probably more damage. We have the sheriff incoming. He probably likes bombs too, so we'll go ahead and whoops, leave him some bombs. Think we took a hit there. That's okay. Okay, he's got a bit of a new attack pattern. That's okay. I need to get right in there and hit him. Like, I don't know where I'll, where I do the most damage. Is it my uh, perimeter arrows? Is it my inside arrow? Oh, this is a bad spot for me to be. He might seem gruff on the outside, but he's really a lover, not a fighter. I like how he's supposed to be the boss dropping bombs. That's our job now. Okay, he's dead. Every one meter, deal 30% of your damage to enemies in an area around you. So now also as we're walking, we're also dealing damage to... <laughs> yeah, we're just melting things around us in a giant radius because our thing is huge. So every time we walk a meter, 58 damage to the enemies around us. Combined with our bombs and explosions, that's going to get fun. Okay, here's another mini boss. This would be a good test of things. We're going to drop some bombs around and our dash is going to come back and we're going to melt him with this. We're not actually actively attacking him. 
Yep, we're still damaging them. We got lots of passive damage. And when the screen gets filled up with morons, we just dash around a little bit, drop some bombs, and as soon as these start recharging our dash, things get hurt. Alright, what do we got now? Emits an aura that periodically inflicts 25% of your damage to enemies uh, in an area around me. So we have a double damage aura going around us. Something big is occasionally going off for 600 damage. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, our AoE just got went up by another further 30% because you can never have too much. It's at almost 400% now. Yeah, that's it. Come follow me around. Really good idea. Yeah, something is hitting for really big damage. I'm not entirely sure what it is because I forget what I have already. Uh, but you know what? The damage is there. We won't ask too many questions. Emits an aura that slows enemies in an area around you by 35%. So it's going to start to get hard to see because we've got a lot of auras going on, but enemies are going to get slowed and melted. I'm basically slowly turning them into soup alive. And we're going to do 100% more crit damage. I don't know if a lot of our auras can do crits, but my regular shots certainly can. And uh, damage is just coming from all different sources now anyway. And I'm pretty sure my cooldown makes my auras go off quicker, like the DPS on them has got to go up and up and up uh, the more my cooldowns are reduced. Oh, it's my circling gun that's doing all the damage for 800. I forgot that thing exists again. I'm going to gain a little bit more speed because speed equals damage. Every time I travel a meter, we hurt things around us. That's why that thing's ticking off rapidly in damage. And I'm pretty sure actually that would probably also count for the dash. The dash is going to carry me probably two meters. So there's two extra damages that get to go off. Plus the bombs. Plus the bombs recharging. There's so many coins lying around. There's gold ones on the ground and I don't know if there's a new or old. Deals damage in an area around you before you dash. So we're doing damage as we dash. We're leaving a bomb as we dash. We're doing damage as we put that dash back. Plus we gain a dash. We have five dashes. Each one more dangerous than the last. The enemies are dying too quickly. Like I'm not even enjoying my bombs at this point because there's no enemies left. Gain a lot more damage from 192 to 216. That's a nice boon. At this point, I'm just an evaporator. I have an evaporator aura around me. Ooh, the werewolf has AoE too. Oh, we're actually pushing him back with something. Every time you move two meters, lightning strikes a random enemy, dealing 100% damage in a small AoE. That's actually going to be a big AoE, so we're going to be lightning striking a lot too. Imagine being the lucky enemy that got randomly like annihilated by lightning. And the enemies will uh, stack up eventually, so that lightning will be hitting multiples, I'm quite sure of that. We're going to increase the range of the AoE by a further 20%, we're at 390%. So I guess by the time the enemies get into range, they're going to slow and just slowly melt. And we get to spend the next hour making idiot soup. The next sheriff is incoming. Not sure what we're going to be dealing with. The Undertaker. Ah, yes, I remember him now. Okay, he did manage to hit us once. Uh, so we're going to be a little bit careful because he has a big AoE himself. It's an AoE battle because he moves in, then AoEs. Uh, so we're just going to go like that. And then as long as we're out of his range once he stops, then we're going to be okay. Like he's going to move in. We should be okay down here. And we're just slowly melting him. He'll chase me up this way. We're just going to stop down here. And more AoE. He runs toward me. But we a out AoE him big time. We have way bigger range. Okay, I thought he was dead. But his horse ran away. You will rest in peace. Yeah, we'll see about that. Okay, he's just firing non-stop balls at me. We can dash. Uh, I don't really remember this. But we're just going to deal with it. Okay, the balls have been reversed. Uh, So if I just casually walk back and forth, I think we're going to be okay. That's it. That's it. I did not mean to dodge that, but I was very lucky there. Okay, here, you know what? Have some bombs. Have some bombs. Have some explosives. Oh, the balls are back. They remind me of cucumber slices. We're being attacked by cucumbers. Oh, he's dead. This is a sort of legendary thing we need. Deal your raw damage as an AoE effect each time you projectiles inflict a critical strike. So basically, my uh, things become a bomb when they crit strike. And that's going to be a really big bomb. So we just need to turn our crit chance up. Okay, there's an extra 5% crit chance. So one in four shots is a crit now. So we're just going to keep wandering around. We're going to fire some shots occasionally, wander around. I'm not sure what the most efficient use of my power is at this point, but it all seems just pretty good. We're going to add a little bit more damage on. So we went from 216 to 234. There's um, a werewolf again. We'll see if we can just sort of melt him for a moment. Every once in a while, everything just evaporates on this screen. And it's very satisfying. Whatever the case, when I need some space, I just go like that and everything dies. Look at all this 1000s. Firmly augments your damage by 30%. Reduces attack speed and projectiles. That's okay. We need damage, not the other stuff. So we're 304 base damage. I reroll these, reduce the cooldowns of dashes and abilities by further 15%. That's actually big. Uh, 36%. So our dashes and everything are coming back super quick. And I think our auras go off a lot quicker because of that. 
Uh, we're doing 1400 crits on something we're doing. We see a lot of big purple critical hits going out. Don't know what those are from. Don't care. Okay, there's a werewolf. Uh, by the time he even showed up, he was pretty low on health. So I'm not sure what he's been doing. But our ore is probably go pretty far. They might actually go off the screen at times. So he might be hurting things we can't even see yet. Uh, let's reduce the cooldowns a further 10%. So 32%. One third. Our dash comes back in one third of the time it's supposed to. Uh, two shields rotate and block enemy projectiles. Yeah, why not? That's only going to help keep me alive a little bit. To be fair, projectiles might be one of the few things that can really hit me at this point. Enemies are going to have trouble getting close for a little while. Uh, I knocked the enemy back. I don't know where he went. He's just not here anymore. Your crits deal 100% more damage. Throw three knives in random directions. Reach four meters traveled. Why, yes, I will take that because we travel a lot. So just throwing a little more DPS out there isn't going to hurt anything. Enemies are starting to pile up quicker. I need my dashes to come back just a little quicker. But I need to remember to keep moving for our lightning and auras. I also forget where I've traveled, so I don't know where all my uh, stuff is. Crits deal 75% more damage, yes. I also have a bad habit of moving away from my bombs. Like I leave a few bombs on the ground and I run away from them. I need to leave them there like that. That way they can actually do their damage to things. And it's just satisfying to see the giant explosions going off and killing so many things. Okay, we get two mini bosses stacking up on us. That's actually a good thing. We're going to increase our chance of crits by a further 7%. The closer we can get that to 100, the better it's going to be considering all the uh, perks we get from crits. Gain 10% more experience from past and future coins. Yes. Raise the area, the AoE by a further 20%. That's up to 410%. Which is why our explosions and auras are so absurdly big. Spawns an invincible minion and picks up, picks up coins for you. Moves 20% slower and inflicts 50% of the damage when it collides with an enemy. So he's just going to run around, uh, you know, being my little servant. He'll grab the coins for me and also do the occasional damage. Speaking of damage, we're going to gain a lot more of it. We just got about a 10% damage increase from the base. Uh, we're going to combine that with the crits. So yeah, 2,300, 2,000. I can't read that. It's too quick. Uh, they're somewhere in the 2000s. We're getting variable depending on what, what's actually hitting the enemies, which could be a lot of things. I'm going to gain a little bit more speed because uh, speed does equal damage for us. I like how I can just push them back too. When they're getting close, I just go like that and they get pushed to somewhere else. The AoE is so big, we're pushing them to Australia every time we dash. Attract all collectibles on screen when you eliminate, eliminate a deputy. I think this is considered a deputy, but I don't really remember. Yeah, I guess it would be because the big guys are sheriffs. This guy's like a pretend sheriff, so he's a deputy. Starting to get lots of enemies on screen, so uh, we're maybe going to start taking damage. Luckily, there's lots of hearts around. We'll take another 5% crit damage. For a basic gray upgrade, that's actually pretty big. Like, we have over 1 in 3 chance of doing crits, and that's why there's so much purple text on the screen. I gotta remember to do little circles at least too. That way our lightning and stuff can strike and our other aura can go off. We're leading our little devil friend in nice little circles. Oh, he brought another friend. Okay, he's dead. AoE is up by a further 20%. I'm not sure where our little helper friend is either. Game starting to lag. You also shoot behind you. Sure, why not? It won't hurt to have a fourth projectile going out there in all directions. We got our bouncing projectiles anyway, so considering the enemies are swarming us, we have projectiles just bouncing around the inside of that circle nonstop. Yeah, the deputies are still dying nice and quick. Regular enemies are obviously getting tough. The game's obviously getting a little bit laggy, but we're going strong, I believe. We're going to take another 7% crit chance. That puts us up to 43, so getting close to a 1 in 2. When your projectile should be destroyed, their damage is reduced by 50% and they pierce instead. So they get a little bit, they get extra piercing. Their damage gets reduced, but those projectiles just keep going. Always target deputies. Gradually increase your damage and attack speed until it dies or is out of screen. So we could get a rather big bonus from having this guy run around on screen in front of us. Which is kind of funny because we're just slowly killing him anyway. And if we run in circles, he can't actually touch us. I can leave him a few bombs. Oh, that pushes him off the screen though, maybe. That was a bad idea. But that's a good way of making space for myself. If I need a little space to breathe, I just go like that and push things off the screen. Then the bombs go off and the dashes come back. Deals damage in an area around you after you dash. So not only are we leaving a bomb, but we're going to land and also <laughs> do a giant smash on the ground that hurts things. I think our original dash mostly kills everything. Like we do damage before and after, but the first one tends to kill everything. So I think our follow-up shot doesn't hit anything. I don't know. It's hard to tell. There's a lot of damage. Let's make it bigger. Okay, for each current health, get bigger, deal 10% damage. Yes, we'll just take that extra damage because uh, we just got to move around slowly and our aura is going to keep us safe anyway. Look at all that purple damage. Uh, so everything we do is just destroying everything. I don't think the game is going to last much longer. Crits deal 100% more damage. Yeah, why not? 725% crits. Attract your collectibles from further away. I'm pretty sure like our auras or like our AoE is so big, we're collecting things that like 
aren't even registered in the game yet. We're getting them from like someone else's game. I think at this point, we're actually doing so much damage that nothing can reach us. Like if I just do circles, uh, the deputies can reach us, but regular enemies, I don't think they can actually make it. I think they melt before they get here. <laughs> Seems to be the case. So I can just take my devil for a nice little walk and no one can do anything about it at all. I guess this is a good one to have. Each time you move two meters, load your next shot with two more projectiles. Because we only fire once in a while, we run around, we're just going to stack a bunch there. We're also going to gain a lot more damage. And it's got the power where every time I dash, I take one damage, but I gain five damage. Luckily, there's a lot of hearts on the ground and my dashes come back really quick. So if I want, I can just go like this and that added a whole bunch of damage and I've healed myself already. So the aura is hitting people for like 3,000 damage and it's going off a lot. A few minutes later, I'm up to about 1,500 base damage and we're literally running out of upgrades. So it's getting us just regular upgrades instead of artifacts. I'm currently at a bounty of 620,000 and even the deputy can barely make it to me. I don't think I actually had to move there. If I hold still, I don't even see the enemies. I just evaporate everything. While it's a few minutes later, my base damage is up to about 3,000, so it's only going up. The enemies are evaporating pretty much before I can see them. Then every time I dash, I add damage, but I also heal myself while doing it, so I'm just infinitely stacking damage. So I think I can conclude that I win. Whatever this is, I've won.